And then, which brings me to my next point, and this, and this may blow you guys away. This, this might, because it kind of shocked me a little bit. Alrighty, guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If uh, it's not, then welcome back. I wanted to talk to you guys about something today because recently we've been doing this Quest 3S giveaway. It's been going on for a few weeks now, and we just wrapped it up on Friday night. And I've, I've got some thoughts. I put out a lot of content, mostly like shorts and TikTok videos about the, the pros and cons of the Quest 3S versus the 3 and my, why you might want to buy a 3S versus a 3 or vice versa. And let me just say a few days ago, I put one out that was three reasons to get a Quest 3S instead of a 3. And the comments on that were just crazy. The reasons that I gave weren't my opinions. These were like factual things like the battery life is a little bit better and it, it has IR emitters on it and it's cheaper, but, but they were, but they were straight up factual differences, not subjective things that I think about the quest three S versus the three. And, and it has been literally hundreds and hundreds of comments from people who just cannot help themselves, but chime in and be like, but the quest three is better. The Quest 3 is better, bro. Why even waste your money on the 3S? Because the Quest 3 is better. But the one that I saw the most was like the, oh, but it's the pancake lenses, bro. Oh, but the resolution, the resolution so much better. The pancake lenses. And and here's the thing. You're not wrong. It, it does have pancake lenses. The Quest 3S does have the Fresnel lenses. The resolution on the Quest 3 is better. The Quest 3S has lower resolution. Again, factual differences. But that wasn't the point of the video. That wasn't what I was trying to say. What I was trying to say was that there are reasons that you'd want to buy a Quest 3S that maybe they aren't the resolution. Maybe that's not your biggest selling point. Maybe you're still playing on a Quest 1. Maybe you still have the PSVR 1 and you're looking for a better experience or something that's you know, all in one unit. And so what I've been trying to do is give people reasons to take a, take a second look at this because it's a great unit. We couldn't have fathomed something like the Quest 3S even four years ago. For the features that it has and, and the price that this is, nobody in the VR community five, six years ago when the HTC Pro and the Valve Index were the top of the line could have imagined that you could just pick one of these off the shelf for 300 bucks which is really a testament to where the VR community is right now and, and hopefully where it's going. But since I had so many people in the comments, I, I would want to call them resolution bros. Since I had so many like resolution bros in the comments talking about how you shouldn't even buy a Quest 3S because it's got lower resolution than the Quest 3. Again, don't agree with that talking point. I thought it might be kind of fun for us to actually sit down and look at the resolution differences between the Quest 3 and the Quest 3S. Because I don't think that I've seen anybody actually break that down yet. Visually, a representation of actually what you're getting and what you're paying for, what the resolution difference is between the 3 and the 3S. For a hundred, $200 difference, depending on which storage size you get. So first up, let's, let's take a look at the resolution numbers. The Quest 3 has a resolution of 2064 by 2208 pixels per eye. So this is a visual representation of that exactly. This is exactly 2064 pixels by 2208 pixels. And I've got that represented twice. And then the Quest 3S here has 1832 by 1920 pixels per eye. So it's roughly a 30% difference. So when we combine both images across the eyes, so let's take a look at this here. So if I look at both images right here, so basically when I when I take the eyes and I, I combine the image across both the screens, it, it looks like this. So we can see the Quest 3 and the Quest 3S or the, the 2 and that resolution. So it's roughly 4,000 pixels across versus the Quest 3S is roughly 3,600 pixels across. Again, noticeable, not really game breaking. I don't think anybody would make that argument. So while we're looking at this, so this is the Quest 3 and the Quest 3S or the Quest 2. Let's look at this. So for those of you out there who are still on the Quest 1 bandwagon, again, I'm not here to take a dump on anybody who's you know, really into their headset. If you like the Quest 1, you like the Quest 1. If you like the Oculus Go, you like the Oculus Go, whatever. But if you're, we're going to have a conversation about resolution and what has the best image or what's the best bang for buck or whatever, the 
Quest 1 is noticeably smaller. So the Quest 1, its resolution is about, if you, if you combined both images, it's going to be about 2880 by 1600. So 2800 pixels across and 1600 pixels tall. So it's, it just pales in comparison to the, to the Quest 3S and the Quest 3. It's, it's much smaller than those. The resolution is much worse. If there's a 30% increase from the Quest 3S to the Quest 3, then there's a, probably a 60% de decrease from the Quest 3 to the Quest 1. And then, which brings me to my next point, and this and this may blow you guys away. This, this might, because it kind of shocked me a little bit. Here's the Quest 3 versus the Quest 3S and the Quest 2. Let's go back to the Quest. So let's go to the Quest 3S versus the Quest Pro. This surprised me, but this was from Meta's website. The Quest Pro and the Quest 3S actually have the same resolution. It's the same resolution per eye. Don't shoot the messenger. It's not my fault. It's just the truth. So, and now, okay, so the Quest 3S doesn't have the eye tracking and it doesn't have the pancake lenses, but shot for shot, resolution's the same. You get color, full color pass through and the full color pass through actually now this is subjective is nicer on the quest 3s the quest 3s's cameras are the same as the quest 3's cameras and so your full color pass through on this unit and this unit are the same resolution's a little worse maybe you can see a little bit different but the quality of the image the camera that that is actually capturing the outside world and and producing that image is the same on these two units and it's worse on the quest pro this is, this is an older camera. It's an older unit. So they're not as nice. Again, I'm just messenger. I'm just telling you what's, I'm just telling you the truth. Now, additionally, Quest 3 versus Quest Pro. Quest 3 is going to have a noticeable improvement. It's going to be, the Quest 3 is going to be a noticeable improvement from the Quest Pro. If you have a Quest Pro and you're not attached to the eye tracking or the eye tracking doesn't work anyway, or you know, whatever your, whatever your relationship is with the Quest Pro, if you're kind of over it. The Quest 3 is better for the resolution, just saying, but you could also get the Quest 3S and it'd be the same resolution as what you're getting now with better full color pass through. Just saying. The only other thing that I really wanted to go over here was the, um, we, I want to talk about the pancake lenses a little bit. So obviously resolution is not the whole story. The Quest 3 uses the pancake lenses, obviously, and just like the Quest Pro. And then the Quest 3S has the Fresnel lenses. So you, you do get a wider field of view on the Quest 3 than you do on the 3S. And that field of view that you do get is sharper in the Quest 3 than it is on the Quest 3S. But how much sharper is it? Meta's website says that the Quest 3 is about 25% sharper at the center field of view and 70% sharper at the edges. So in the, in the middle, you're barely going to notice. You're barely, it's, it's going to be like, it's, it's going to be a marginal difference. It's going to be 25% different, maybe. So, so in the middle where you're looking, it's going to be 25% different on the outside, major difference, 70% different, 70% more clear on the peripheral edges where you know, on the outside of the image. Right. And it's a bigger image because it's higher resolution. So, and it's a wider field of view. So you need those edges to be sharper. So the quest three does win there, but. What I did here was I put together two images that we could look at where you could see the Quest 3 versus the Quest 3S. Let's go 25% sharper in the in the middle and let's go 75 or 70% 70 sharper on the outsides. And so you can kind of get an idea of to as to what that looks like really side by side. And it is it is a difference. In my opinion it's it's not a $200 difference. Maybe it's a $100 difference. Maybe. So and then that's, that's kind of it. So just to just kind of wrap up here. So obviously the Quest 3 is it's a phenomenal unit. I don't think that even even a year later, this unit is not just, I think, the flagship of Meta's headsets, but it might be the flagship of the whole VR community right now. Because what used to be the considered the flagships of the VR community, like the Valve Index and the HTC Vive Pro, those those units are old now. The Valve Index is what, six years old now? So was that 20, 2018, 2019 that that unit came out? Somebody's going to fact check me on that in the comments. But it's they're old. They're, they're aging. They're in decline. And the Quest 3 is 
as far as I could, as far as I can tell, even compared to the Quest Pro, it's top of the line. At least, at least when we're talking about readily available commercial units, there's some experimental stuff out there that people talk about on other VR channels and, and that stuff's really cool. But when you're talking about just like go into Walmart and buy it off the rack, it's, this is, this is hard to beat, but I think it's disingenuous to say that the quest three S doesn't have its place in the VR community. If you are one of those quest one owners, if you, if you're looking to upgrade from the quest two to something that has a few more features and will be more future proof, if you have the quest pro and maybe you're having issues with this or whatever the situation is, and you don't have the money for this, or the resolution is just not the selling point to you. Cause what, because because you like Fresnel lenses or because your durability is a factor and the pancake lenses aren't as durable as the Fresnel lenses are, then I think that the Quest 3S really meets those requirements while being much more future-proof Quest 2 is right now. Which if we're being honest, the Quest 1, that is not supporting that anymore with software updates as of what, August? So how much longer is the Quest 2 going to continue to get software updates and support for Meta? Now, it's a much more popular unit than the Quest 1 was. I think that the Quest 1 had, what, 2 or 3 million units, and the Quest 2 had like 25 million units sold or something like that. So it's much more popular. It's going to be much harder to phase out. But eventually that'll come. And it'll come sooner for the Quest 2 than it does for the 3S, because the 3S is going to be able to run the same things that the Quest 3 can. It's got the same processing power. It's got the same Snapdragon XR2 chip. And if, and if you don't believe me, check out my teardown videos and, and watch me take these two units apart because I think you'd be really surprised at how many components on, on this are the same as this. There's a few, there's a few notable Quest 2 parts like the tracking camera system, but then there's things like the charge port and the speaker arm and the full color pass through cameras that are literally the exact same model numbers as on this unit. I can take a speaker arm off this unit pull it off and put it onto this unit and nobody would know any different. So if you're on the fence or you had questions about the resolution, I hope that everybody has a better understanding of what the resolution differences actually are between the different meta headsets and, you know, side by side comparisons. You can, you can look and okay, that's the quest one. And that's the quest two the three S the three, and then the pro and sort of make up your mind about what you're looking for or, or how much value that actually has to you. But in the meantime, if you are in my comments, don't try to pick fights with the people that like the 3S because these are great little units. And if you're on a budget, this does everything that the Quest 3 can do. It's, it's got a little bit lower resolution and functionally, practically, game wise, software wise, it'll do everything that this unit can do. So thanks for hanging out with me and listening to me rant. If you've not had a chance, uh, do consider uh, liking and subscribing and clicking the notification bell because that really helps us out, helps out the channel and helps us bring more information like this to the VR community. Uh, our giveaway for the Quest 3S right now is over. It ended on Friday at midnight and we will be announcing the winner sometime this week. So just uh, again, click that notification bell and stay tuned for that because we will be announcing that in a YouTube video. But really, guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope you learned something and we will see you on the next one.